very good morning to one and all present here i professor rashwadi fuljele assistant professor in the department of mechanical engineering welcomes you all for the online lecture of advanced manufacturing technique an elective subject of eighth semester mechanical engineering my dear friends in our previous lecture we we started discussing the oxidation in gas building in our previous lecture we discussed the technological revolution we saw the uh, inventors who pioneered the discoveries of uh, oxidation in gas building process later on we saw the different components the properties of Uh, oxygen and acetylene in gas their properties and uh, their functioning then we saw the definition of welding and uh, the categorization of oxyacetylene in gas welding this process is categorized or it falls under uh, fusion welding process wherein the acetylene gas will fuse in the presence of uh, oxygen then we saw different alternatives that can be used as a fuel for oxyacetylene gas welding process we saw propane natural gas and hydrogen right but we can use acetylene also for um, um welding as well as machining that is for cutting purposes this process is more versatilely used in various industries because various operations can be performed those are depicted in the presentation as you can see here various operations that we can perform is brazing fusion welding flame hardening metallizing soldering stress relieving cutting bending also but now a days the primary use of oxy acetylene gas process is for heating brazing cutting and welding right then now the setup this uh, animized uh, a picture is representing various components attachments of oxyacetylene gas welding process setup we saw different types of walls gauges safety discs isn't it pressure regulating gauges those uh, important things like gauges pressure regulators valves are present on both the cylinders because highly pressurized gas is uh, compressed into these pressure vessel into the cylinders that is why we obviously require those uh, important things after that we saw the hose a welding torch a welding torch consists of a one mixing chamber where in both the gases mixes and in the presence of uh, fusion in the presence of spark the flame is uh, generated that flame emerge out of the nozzle in a controlled parameter this process is a manual process wherein several uh, gauges walls and regulators and the pressure indicators we will have to check for the preparation of flames my dear friends in the next upcoming presentations we are going to see different types of flames also those are created with the help of uh, this welding torch and other arrangements that we are going to look into more detail then we saw the composition of oxygen cylinder how it is produced their sizes worldwide accepted their dimensions are standardized 
we saw 244, 150 and 80 cubic feet of their sizes. Then pressure regulators. Now we will start discussing in more detail about the welding torch. Right. The oxyacetylene welding torch is the tool which gases are mixed in the desired volume and burning of the mixture takes place at the end of the tip that we generally call as a nozzle. As we discussed earlier, the flame emerges out of the nozzle and with the ignition with the spark we uh, generates the flame. It consists of a handle with two inlet valves for oxygen and acetylene gases at one end. We saw those things in the above picture. A very nice picture representing the all uh, depth, all each and every minute instruments present onto the oxyacetylene gas welding process. Right. Each inlet has a valve to control the volume of gases passing through it. It is essentially required. We saw regulating valves onto the cylinder as well as onto the welding torch. The mixing of gases takes place at the tip of the nozzle. The flame produced is by igniting the mixture with spark lighter. This picture is representing the oxyfuel torch wherein you can observe, I am going to zoom in out, the acetylene torch valve, valve stem packing. Similarly, valve stem packing for the oxygen torch valve. Those valves and this packing is essentially required as we have discussed like these gases should not be exposed to air it should not be exposed to the environment oxygen will not harm but the leakage in the um, acetylene hose or acetylene cylinder may cause tremendous uh, casualties even right now the hoses and connections. The hoses and connections are standardized and those are depicted in the international standardized manner. The require it requires special non-porous hoses. Now dear friends, let me tell you we generally call those pipes as hose, even though domestically used uh, cylinders that connects to the stove it uses a pipe but generally or uh, technically we call those pipes as hose because they are specially made for this purpose only and they are uh, it, it consists of several layers for safety purposes that is how we generally call those pipes as hose Hoses are color coded that we will have to remember that both the cylinders consisting of hoses are represented with different colors even though our oxygen and acetylene cylinders are also represented in different colors. Let me see the hoses color combination their color codes first. The oxygen hose is painted with green color whereas the fuel gas that is acetylene hose is represented by red or black color and their connections are also represented in different manner oxygen hose is having a right hand thread whereas acetylene hose it consists of left hand thread the hoses should be protected from hot metal and physical damage. That care we must take while handling this setup. Now 
my dear friends as you can see on your screen the typical setup of uh, accessory in gas welding process wherein you can see the cylinders with their regulators valves pressure gauges holes depicted in different colors those both the hoses are connected to the welding torch uh, welding torch are having different uh, uh, dimensions that we are going to different going to see different types of torches into our next slide and the actual welding how does it takes place that we are going to see in this picture in this figure let me zoom in now the oxygen cylinder it is generally painted with black or green color similarly the hose is also painted with the green color or black color if the oxygen hose is painted with black in that combination we will have to make the acetylene hose with the maroon color that we will have to remember for identification purposes those color plays vital role now in this figure in both the cylinders you can see regulators valves and gauges are present oxygen hose and acetylene hose is there both the hose are connected to the welding torch a welding torch it consists of a mixing chamber wherein both the gases mix in controlled environment and it emerges out of the nozzle with the ignition or spark with a simple torch we can ignite this and thus a flame emerge out of the nozzle now as the torch is concentrated over to a place wherein the direction of flow of weld direction of flow of weld is uh, shown in this picture the zoom portion can be seen wherein weld bead is represented with the orange color at the center you can see the direction of weld indicated with red arrow then uh, welding rod or we can call it as a filler rod material can be used it is optional but if the thickness of metal to be welded is high then we must necessarily use a welding electrode or filler rod material here in this figure you can see the torch tip oxygen fuel gas mixture oxyacetylene gas mixture is emerging out of the torch tip at the back side in this sky blue color you can observe the completed weld one major disadvantage of this process is this spatter loss or even the carbon deposition over the uh, welded region that we are going to discuss in next slide also all right so we can see the detailed operation of oxyacetylene gas welding process now the principle of operation that is used in oxyacetylene welding is when the acetylene is mixed with uh, oxygen in correct proportion in the welded torch and ignited the flame resulting at the tip of the torch is sufficiently hot to melt and join the parent metal my dear friends the temperature that we can achieve with this process is around 3000 degrees celsius generally 2500 degrees celsius can be achieved and of course as we mentioned earlier three different types of uh, flames representing Uh, different temperatures and of course those 
three different types of uh, flames are used for um, welding or cutting the different types of materials according to the requirement we adjust the flame the oxyacetylene flame reaches a temperature of about 3200 degrees celsius and thus can melt all commercial metal which during welding actually flow together to form a complete bond as it, it represents the temperature range that we can achieve and generally the melting point temperature of iron is 1539 degrees celsius and through that we can observe we can melt uh, any type of material isn't it and as the definition of uh, welding depicts like uh, welding process through which we can achieve the uniform material isn't it we can make any material intact in the continuation with principle of operation a filler metal rod is generally added to the molten metal pool to build up the seam slightly for greater strength the purpose of filler rod material is uh, is to strengthen the welded region with the help of which we can give strength to the welded region isn't it the oxyacetylene welding does not require the components to be forced together under pressure until the weld forms and solidifies. Uh, oxy hydrogen and other fuel gas welding oxyacetylene oxy hydrogen and oxypropane my dear friends in our previous most slide we saw the different uh, uh, fuel gases and this is representing the temperature range that we can achieve with those gases apart from acetylene hydrogen along with the oxygen gives 2500 degrees celsius Whereas propane, in the presence of oxygen, it gives 2500 degrees Celsius. Those combinations uh, are helpful that we can implement in versatile materials. Now the regulators and hoses, their uh, composition, we will see into our next lecture. Today we will stop here. Thank you.